Hi everyone, we are doing the ride or die makeup tag today. Um, so I was tagged by the beautiful Sarah from Bows and Pleats. If you don't follow her blog, then I will uh, link it in the description box below. But basically the idea is that um, I'm going to show you all of my like best of the best of the best products. Now, in usual lipstick and linguine fashion, I have cheated. So um, sometimes I just don't have one single favorite. So I've chosen two. For me, this tag is about like, if I was a normal human being, like a normal, regular, non-hoarding human being, then this is all the stuff that I would keep in my makeup bag. As a side note, I'm just not feeling this makeup today. We all have those days, we just don't feel it. So I sat down this morning to do my makeup and realized that I'd washed all my eye brushes um, overnight and they're not dry yet. So I had to use like this one single brush to do all my eyeshadow <laughs> and then blend in with my fingers a little bit. So I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling it today. God, even my hair is crazy today. I should have brushed it. So starting off with skincare, there's not too much that's in my ride or die. Because I get sent so much stuff, I tend to chop and change quite a bit. There are a few items that just remained a constant in my um, routine. It's not even dirty, it's actually that's too clean and it's too smooth. Yes! Alright, let's do this. So I've been using Bioderma for years. So um, this is my favourite way to purchase it, although I haven't been able to find the pump pack lately. So what I do is I just buy the regular bottles and refill this bottle. Um, but I love Bioderma uh, Sensibio to remove uh, my makeup and I use this usually as my first cleanse before going in with another product. And um, I just love how gentle it is. I even love, I'm thinking about getting a spray bottle and putting some of this in a spray bottle just to refresh my um, skin every now and then because I love how gentle it is and I love um, just everything about it. There's not, I can't, there's not a bad word I can say about this. So this would definitely be one of those, um, you know, bring with me to a desert island kind of products. Although I'd probably want to drink it. So it's a desert, deserted, is it a desert island or a deserted island? Next is from Aven and it's the Hydrants Optimal Serum. So um, I use this most days before I put my makeup on, before my primer. Um, I really, really like this. This is my third bottle now that I've gone through and it's just so light and refreshing. It's not like, it's not too heavy. It's not an oily serum. It's one of those kind of lotion type serums. Um, really, really love this one. Definitely is in my ride or die. Um, this next product was sent to me um, last year and then I loved it so much that I had to repurchase it. And this is the um, Confidence in a Cream from It Cosmetics. It just smells amazing. It's so hydrating. It makes your skin feel, makes my skin feel so soft. Um, I will use it as a day or night cream. I will use it around my eyes. I will use it nonstop. I love it. This is my new jar, but the first jar took maybe five to six months to finish. I used the smallest little amount and it just goes really far. Um, my favorite lip balm, this one was hard because there's a couple, but I'm going to leave it with this one. It's the Agave Mask or the Agave Lip Mask from Bite Beauty. This is one of the minis, um, but I have one beside my bed and I have one in my bag that I just carry with me all the time because it's just really nice to refresh your lips. Now on to beauty tools. The things that I use to apply my makeup and the things that I just couldn't do without. It's no surprise that the Beauty Blender is probably my number one tool. This is a brand new one in the packet. It's one of the uh, red carpet ones, I believe. I didn't want to show you my others because they're dirty. I use them for foundation. I use them for concealer. I use them for powder. I use them to uh, blend in blush, all sorts of stuff. Um, I just don't think there's a better um, sponge on the mark. I am looking forward to though trying the brand new ones from Real Techniques because they're supposed to be amazing. But these so far, are the ones that I love. In terms of brushes, I don't think there's anything softer and more luxe feeling than IT Cosmetics brushes. They're just to die for. Um, this is the large powder brush and it is huge, can you see? Um, they're so soft, they wash so well. There's really nothing to complain about other than the price. I do believe this one's about $80, but you really do get what you pay for. And they're cruelty free. They're just lovely, lovely um, brushes. So in terms of face brushes, these are the ones that I love. Um, if I'm doing like a full-on heavy bake, I will use these um, puffs from Daiso. They're like 280 for I think a pack of two. Um, they're just great. It's just a velour puff, and you know that you can just um, use them until they're a little bit manky, and then you can throw them out. But I have washed them on numerous. I've washed this one a couple of times. They do actually hold up pretty well when you just wash them with a bit of the the um, Daiso cleanser. Um, but I really really like these to just pack on powder under the eyes if you're doing a full bake. Um, and they work really well and they're really cheap onto the makeups. Okay, so let's start kind of in order of what 
I would use. In terms of um, primer, I don't really have a ride or die primer. I kind of use different primers depending on what I want, what the finish is. But the first ever high-end primer that I ever bought and the one that I tend to always go back to is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I just love the way this feels. Um, it just is so silky. It's obviously a silicone primer. If you haven't tried this one before, pick up a sample of it um, at Mecca. Uh, it's just a really lovely primer. If you're not into the silicone ones, then this is not for you. But um, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to say this is not my ride or die because I do use different ones all the time. But I do tend to come back to this one all the time. For foundation, there's no surprise here. It's the It Cosmetic CC Plus Cream. I like the original, not the Radiance. Um, I find that this just does everything. It covers everything I need. It still looks quite natural. It moisturizes. It's got your 50 plus um, sunscreen in it. It blends really well. It lasts all day for me. There's nothing bad I can say. Um, unfortunately, I do need two shades that mix them together. So I'm in between. I think it's light and medium. Um, towards the end of summer, I get to medium. Um, towards the end of winter, I'm light, and then I mix them in between. Um, especially at the moment, because <clears throat> I did get that little bit of extra sun when I was overseas, I am definitely mixing, but I think I might be ready for medium soon. I'm a little bit light today because I've used a different concealer, but um, I love this. And everybody that I give it to, or everyone that I recommend this to, also loves it. Okay, so on to powders. Um, this was my ride or die for the last, I don't know when, but a long time. And I still really, really love it. And I used it today for the first time in a long time. Of course, we're talking about the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is the translucent one. Mine has been used and abused and it cracked and broke and the sift is gone. And um, I'm just dipping my beauty just straight into that. But recently, I've really fallen in love with the Airspun from Cody. Now, if you can get past the scent, because it does smell like old ladies, then this is a great setting powder. I feel like this one's fantastic for all over the face, but it kind of makes my eyes look really crepey and dry underneath. I used a ton of eye cream underneath this today to try and get it to look a little smoother. And although I am quite puffy today, it has worked. But generally for every day, um, I'm using the Cody Airspun. Like I said, it's a bit stinky, but it is just perfect. It's, I think it cost me $16 as opposed to the 60 ish dollars that one costs. It's a huge container. It's just a really nice product. So I'm going to have both of these. I don't wear bronzer every day, um, so I'm not going to include that, but I do wear blush every day. And considering that I don't wear bronzer, I think this one is kind of perfect for warming up the whole face. I will often take Tarte Exposed Blush and um, apply it to my cheekbones, but then also just give myself a bit of a quick brush because it's that kind of neutral, um, not quite pinky pink shade. Um, it just looks really lovely all over the skin. I'm not going to use it heavily all over the skin because I'm going to look a little bit flushed. But um, it does just give such a beautiful, beautiful colour to the cheeks. This is definitely my ride or die blush. This might be the first blush I ever have to repurchase. I have so many highlighters. So many highlighters. But um, the one that I always come back to and I always go, why did I stop using this? Is the one and only Opal from Becca. Wait till you see the pan. So it is well and truly used and abused. Interestingly, there's always been this one part in it that's a little bit harder than the rest. And it kind of isn't wearing you down as, as much as the rest. But I'm not too far from hitting pan on this one. It looks so dark. Like compared to my skin, it looks quite dark. And you'd think that I'd want a really light um, highlight shade. But it just blends into the skin so perfectly to give you a really... I would say natural looking, but it kind of matches my skin tone and then gives me this beautiful sheen. I forgot concealer. Um, so until three months ago, I would have told you that the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer was the one that I just keep coming back to all the time. Um, I love this one for under the eyes. But then I went overseas and I discovered, this is so yucky and junky, but the Lasting Perfection Concealer from the collection. And luckily my brother is overseas uh, in the UK at the moment because I'm going to get him to buy me a whole bunch of this and send it over because I just love it. It's just, it's very, very similar, but it's obviously a lot cheaper and it just covers really well and I don't know what else to say. I just really, really like it. I didn't use this one today and I'm like, oh, I hate the concealer. I don't always contour, but when I do, I like to use the Smashbox contour sticks. And um, more than any of the others, I do use the contour stick. I don't use the highlight or bronze shade as much as this one. I just feel like it's so easy. You just simply just, and for most days, if I do contour, it's simply just one line. And I will just blend that in and blend it around. And one line is enough just to give me that little bit of um, shade to my face. So... Um, I do really, really like this one. I think they should be selling these separately and I think the price point should be a lot less. I think, I think like $60 for the three of them. 
it's really expensive for a pencil but it's just so smooth and so blendable damn you smashbox damn you for mascara it is roller lash from benefit um for the longest time i never understood why people love benefit um mascaras that much i just didn't get their real it just didn't work for me it gave me i've got really short um straight lashes i've got plenty of lashes but they're short and straight and every time i use their real my lashes would just look even though i've curled they just look like like I've got three lashes just clumped and this one does the opposite this one lengthens obviously but it also just separates them really nicely and they really flare out and I just really really like this um I don't have too much an issue with it smudging or anything like that um I do use a lot of mascaras I won't lie but this is one that I always repurchase for brows oh I love powders I love waxes I love pomades but if I'm looking for like one product that I can use every single day quickly fuss proof like foolproof it's um gimme brow from benefit cosmetics um i just really like how quickly it works and i tend to just um, brush it through and then like comb um, my my brows up and it, it tends to hold it for me um yes yeah, so i really really like this one i think there's some great brow products on the uh, market if i could have two or three i would but this is the one that i would choose if i could only have one eyes eyeshadow oh i'm loving the makeup geek shadows at the moment but if i was gonna go for one eyeshadow palette that i use again and again and i'm never disappointed with except for today um i would <laughs> i would say that it has to be the chocolate bar palette from Too faced i think the quality of this is amazing I've purchased other Too Faced um, eyeshadows before, not the chocolate bar ones, but the other ones, and the quality just isn't as good as this one. Um, I'm really surprised that I haven't hit pan because I use them so, so much. The only shadows I don't really get much use out of is the purple. I've just never, I don't think I've ever used it. I would repurchase this one. For lips, this is a hard one because who doesn't love wearing different lipstick all the time? But if I could only ever wear one combo, I would use the Lip Pencil Saw from MAC. This is just, it's just perfect. I liked it before the whole like Kylie Jenner thing, but it's just a beautiful um, shade. It just, it gives me that look where I'm obviously wearing lipstick, but it doesn't look like wham. This is like the main focus of my makeup. It's just really, really pretty. And then along with that, there are two lipsticks that I like wearing with it. Again, I'm cheating, but I love the shade Myrrh from MAC. So that's quite a good match for that. And then if I'm feeling a little extra, which is most days, I just don't think you can go past Marc Jacobs lipsticks for like comfort and just feeling luxe and lush and they're just beautiful they last all day on me they're matte well this one is matte but um it's not too drying and um the color is a little bit more pink but i just love this one i could happily just wear these all the time and then to finish everything off i have this combo and i will wear both some days this is mac prep and prime fix plus and this is just um to melt all my makeup in together to make it look a little bit better so sometimes I look at myself in the mirror I'm like oh things have not worked out well today just like today and um, then I'll um, Mac fix plus it and afterwards everything just looks a little bit better my highlights a little bit more noticeable all my powders have kind of melted together and things just look better and then for long lastingness and then just to make everything last a little bit better um, there's the all-nighter spray I also have the chill spray don't like that one as much as this one. Love this one. And that's it. This is a long video. Um, I tag everyone. Please tag me in it um, or let me know if you've done this um, makeup tag. Um, but I would love to see what your ride or die favorites are. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, this is going to be a standalone video. There won't be a blog post associated with this. Um, but if you do want to see a blog post about ride or die, like again, I will say I will tag Sarah's post below. Um, you should definitely check out that blog because it's amazing. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.